Uh, Jacqueline kabla kuja kwako kujibu swali hilo nafahamishwa kwa sasa uh, mkuu wa wale mawakili wake aliyekuwa gavana wa Nairobi Mike Mbuvi Sonko daktari John Haminwa anazungumza kumbuka kwamba so, Sonko anatarajiwa kufikishwa mahakamani siku ya leo mbele ya jaji Douglas Ogot kujibu mashtaka mbalimbali yanayomkabili tumsikize anazungumza by about six doctors of Kenyatta Hospital Nairobi Hospital and Governor Sonko had also lost his driver who died suddenly and when death occurs these days in such a manner we suspect that it may be that it is covered there was also another issue that I raised Governor Sonko was uh, charged at uh, Kahawa court with the two other co-accused. One was uh, a man by the name of uh, Odiambo, another one by the name of uh, Cliff Ochieng. One of them has been tested and has been found to be a coronavirus COVID-19 patient. At Kahawa, the governor, including the defense team, we were interacting with the co-accused freely. So I pointed out to the chief magistrate respectfully that we better adjourn this matter for two reasons. One, that the uh, doctors have said that they should have uh, two weeks rest. Another one is that there is a possibility that some of us, including the governor, may probably have contracted coronavirus at Kawa uh, court. Uh, he rejected my application. I then told him that I'm going to make some applications this morning, several applications. But I told him several applications that I'm going to raise in court this morning. Now, when we were assembled in court this morning, very much to my surprise, the media was not present in court at all. And I raised the issue with him. I told him that, look, this is a public hearing, and under Article 50 of the Constitution, yeah. Yeah. Under Article 50 of the Constitution, the media represents the public. And there's no way you can shut out the media from the proceedings at all. It was then pointed out to me that some time back before I got in involved into this case, it was ruled that the media would not be allowed to be present when witnesses, protected witnesses are, pro, are uh, uh, adducing evidence. And again, I pointed out to him respectfully that the applications that I'm going to make have absolutely nothing to do with the media at all, uh, with the protected witnesses at all. They have nothing to do with the protected witnesses. They are ordinary applications that do come up from time to time during a criminal hearing. And I saw no reason why the media should be excluded from the court. He insisted that he had made orders very clear in the past that the media would not be allowed and that the, uh, the next witness should be allowed to testify. It was at that stage that I told him that I would not sit in the courtroom at all, partly because I wanted to make applications which I thought were important to promote a fair hearing, and if I'm not permitted to make those applications, I would not be of much use to the governor at all. So I decided now to walk out. But before I decided to walk out, I did point out to him that there is a complaint that has been forwarded to the Judicial Service Commission against him by Governor Sonko. And in that complaint, it is quite clear that the Constitution of the Republic is being mutilated. It is no longer being followed or complied with at all. So that's where we stand now. I left the courtroom. 
my colleagues, I think Mr. Nyakundi and Mr. Nyamu and Mr. Kaingo have remained behind. But I did not think that it would be fair for me to be a party to proceedings where I do not even have the documents, I have not taken full instructions from the governor, and I don't think that I would be of much use to the governor sitting in that courtroom at all. Do you think that move is aimed at uh, trivializing the trial and violating the rights of Songo to the right of representation with our name of sending him to jail? I take the view that any accused person should only be convicted and sentenced if the hearing or the trial has been within the four corners of the Constitution. But the way we are now handling the trial of Governor Sonko is highly objectionable. It is not consistent with the Constitution at all. Uh, I'm sorry I don't have the documents here, but from what I was able to pick up from the, uh, the letter of the complaint to the Judicial Service Commission, uh, this court seems to have been sitting at very odd hours, and uh, um, the accused was not given the opportunity to carry out effective cross-examination at all and that uh, on the part of the accused he, accu he accused the court of bias against him but uh, as i've said i don't have the complete report here but uh, Nyamu, mr nyamu and mr nyakundi have got the application or if you get in touch with me later on i would avail to you the com complaint that has been raised with the judicial service commission uh, the complaint by the governor raises very, very important uh, issues touching on the constitution of the Kenya, of Kenya 2010 constitution. It is quite clear that the 2010 constitution is being violated. Thank you very much. mtazamaji huyo ni uh, daktari John Haminwa ambaye ni uh, wakili mkuu wa kesi yake Sonko Mike Mbuvi ambaye inamkabili mashtaka matatu na zaidi ya ubadhirifu wa mali, ulagai na vile vile uh, upangaji wa ugaidi. Kumbuka kwamba baadhi ya sababu ambazo wamezitoa Haminwa za kumfanya atoke katika mahakama ile wakati kesi inaendelea moja wapo ni kwamba hawakupewa nafasi wanahabari kuingia kuifuatilia kesi ili, kesi ile na sababu ya pili ni kwamba alikuwa amewasilisha ombi kwa hakimu Douglas Ogot kwamba kesi hii isimamishwe kwa majuma mawili kutokana na moja wa washukiwa wale wawili ambao wanaambatana kesi hii na ya, e, pamoja na Sonko kwamba anaugua virusi vya corona kwa hivyo kuna uwezekano kwamba Sonko ameambukizwa au la lakini apatiwe pumziko la majuma mawili kwa mujibu wa daktari wake hilo limekataliwa na kwake wakili Hamino anasema hiyo ni hujuma kwa uendeshaji wa kesi ameamua kujitoa katika kesi ile ijapo inaendelea kusikilizwa tukao tunakujuza mengi zaidi atakayojiri ndani ya kizimba mbele ya hakimu Douglas Ogot lakini tutarudi hapa studioni tumalize na mgeni wetu katika mda